My name is Dr. Emery, and I'm a musculoskeletal radiologist at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Today we will be talking about imaging of joints. All imaging modalities require some form of energy to create images. For x-rays, it's x-ray energy. For ultrasound, it is the energy of sound waves. And for MRI, it is the powerful magnet and radio frequency waves that create the images. Special listening devices, known as MRI coils, are necessary as well as powerful computers to create the detailed joint images that the doctor will read in order to help determine how best to treat your child. Every MRI scanner has multiple coils that are used to image different joints. Some coils can even be used to image more than one type of joint. The knee or extremity coil is used most frequently since the knee is the most common joint imaged by MRI. This coil can also be used to image other joints, such as an ankle or an elbow. A specialized wrist coil designed to fit an average adolescent or adult wrist is necessary to provide high quality images of the wrist, but can be used in smaller children's or infants to image an elbow, ankle, foot or hand. These coils are very sensitive and are critical for creation of high quality images. The MRI images will show the bones, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, and muscles in each joint in a much more detailed fashion that can be seen by x-rays or ultrasound. Whatever coil is used, the technologist will do everything possible to make sure your child is comfortable and secure so they are able to hold the joint still during the scan. If your child's knee is being imaged, they will lie on their back with the knee of concern padded comfortably in the knee coil. MRI scans are made up of a series of different short sequences, usually five to 10 in number, and most three to five minutes in length. These create loud knocking noises. Your child's ears will be protected with earplugs, or they may choose headphones for listening to music or a movie that they can watch using special MRI compatible video goggles. The technologist will be able to communicate with your child throughout the scan if there are any concerns that may arise. All right, Brian, I'm just gonna get these checked by the doctor real quick, but we should be all done, okay? At the conclusion of the scan, the technologist will assist your child from the scan room. The doctor interpreting your child's MRI will provide a report to your child's doctor within 24 hours.